Okay, let's talk about pelvic fractures and how they can occur in rear end collisions, especially if you're not wearing a seatbelt. Now we know that seatbelts can prevent us from being ejected from a vehicle from coming over the dash, but they also prevent us from going underneath the dash as well. It's what has happened even in a moderate rear end collision where we're rear ending another vehicle. What could happen is we can shift forward and our hips will shift forward with us. And we end up hitting our knee on the under dash here. And when we hit our knee on the under dash like this, we end up creating almost like a, like a pinch point in this spot, which means that once we hit the dash, our weight is going to be stopped immediately. And all that pressure, because our hips are going to continue to move, try and move forward is that all that pressure is going to be put on the ball of the femur and that ball of femur with all that pressure can ultimately shift backwards into the pelvis and shatter that side of the pelvis and cause pretty significant fractures including shattering the femur as well creating a community of fractures so there's a lot of opportunity here for some significant fractures just by not wearing your seatbelt in a moderate rear end collision